Welcome, my friend. My name is Sargon, curator of mythical and extraordinary antiquities. I have everything your heart could desire and more. For a price, of course. I've never met a merchant so proud of his goods. Your items must be impressive. They're the finest in all the Greek world. I promise you that. Or may you strike me down. I'm always happy to part with some drachmi if the price is right. I'm not interested in drachmi. The only currency I accept is orichalcum. I've never heard of it. Few have, thankfully. It's a precious metal from a time long before our own. It possesses many properties that Sargon finds appealing. All right. Let's see what you have to offer. Thank the gods you came. What happened? Where's the rest of your crew? Pirate! They killed most of us, but they took my brother. Please, you must help him. I'm not about to risk my neck or ship for some sailor's brother. Unless, of course, there's Drachmi involved. I'm not a sailor, I'm a carpenter. So is my brother. Our father taught us. Interesting. Our ship could use a carpenter. I've worked as a shipwright, repaired hulls with holes the size of Poseidon's feast. Please, save my brother, and I'll join your crew. Then it's a deal. We'll find these pirates and rescue your brother. Your brother sent me. That fool. Always sending someone else to do his dirty work. How bad is it? You're going to be fine. You're kind. A terrible liar, but kind. What message should I give your brother? Tell that fool of a brother I... My brother, where is he? To save his own life, he chose to work for the pirates. They would have killed him otherwise. There was nothing I could do. What? My brother would rather die than work for pirates. Pirates killed our father last summer. He shaded everything about the sea since then. Tell me the truth! Your brother's dead. I didn't want to... You dare! You thought I was better thinking he lived than knowing the truth? I will not work for someone who holds the truth and family in so little regard. I need to go. I wish to be alone with my pain. Goddess of war and wisdom, does it please? I might have a job for you, if you're as good a fighter as I've heard. You've heard of me? Don't let it go to your head. I hear about everything that happens in this city, Mystios. With flattery like that, how could I possibly turn you down? I'm not trying to flatter you. I'm trying to hire you. I need some Spartan military targets removed. I'll help you if I can. 
Depending on what it is you need, General... Demosthenes. Very good. My spies tell me the Spartans are mobilizing. What I want you to do is hamstring them. Get into their forts and remove the commanders in charge. I guess that makes sense. I'm thrilled you approve. You'll need to bring me the sailors of the commanders you kill as proof. You'll be amply rewarded. Those don't seem like standard Athenian tactics. They're not. But it will work, and that's what matters. We've already lost too many Athenians to those savages using... traditional warfare. The other generals disagree, but I refuse to let them destroy our chances. What do they want to do? They want honorable face-to-face -face warfare. Pitting our forces directly against the Spartans. We're not going to win a contest of strength against those brutes. We need to outthink them. So, will you kill the commanders? All right. I'll take the job. Good. I might not have approval to deploy our men to do this, but I'm not about to let that stop me. You've told me enough. I'll get your seals for you, General. What's a little girl doing in a clay pit? Oh, Amistios! Hi, Amistios. I'm just preparing something for my friends. I've been here all day, but I still need more clay. I need enough for all of them. What you're doing for your friends is very nice. I'm sure they'll appreciate it. Really? You think so? I was thinking of getting them some other things, though. You're a generous friend. What do you want to give them? I want to give them some nice jewelry. <laughs> you mean jewelry? That's what I said. <laughs> you don't look like you could afford any, honestly. I know. That's why I was going to get some shiny stones in the abandoned mines and a few pearls from the lagoon. But I've been stuck here all day with the clay, and the abandoned mines are kind of scary. Do you think you could help me get some gifts for my friends? It makes them happy, and that'll make me happy. I'll make some gooey for you, too, for helping me. Gladly, young lady. I'll see to it you get the best pearls and shiny stones. And I wouldn't mind some jewelry myself. Yay! Thank you. You're really nice for a big, scary-looking person. Okay, that's all I need to know. I'll see you later. I should be done here soon. Meet me at the cliff overlooking the lagoon, okay? I'll introduce you to my friends. Thanks, Mythios. enough pearls?
the abandoned mines with the shiny stones. and the shiny stones. I should return to the little girl. The little girl and her friends. She got here sooner than I thought she would. Silly thing. Mistyos! You made it just in time. My friends have finally arrived. I don't see anyone else here but us. <laughs> what? Silly Mistyos. Can't you see them? They're right over there. The one on the left is Theo, and the one on the right is Erla. They look... friendly. But I don't think they really count as your friends. What do you mean? They're my friends. I made them. I know you made them, but that... Mata told me to make friends, Mistyos, and I did. This isn't a way to make friends. Tell your mother that... I can't! She's dead, Mistyos. Mother is dead. She joined the pirates. Told me she'll bring back so much drachmi. We could swim in it. But, but, but one day she came back, Mistyos. Her favorite white robe was all red. And she told me to take care of myself and make more friends. But I've never had any friends. I didn't know what she meant. So I thought really, really hard and made my friends out of clay. Did I make a mistake? Mother won't be upset at me, right? I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it! You can't do this anymore. W what are you doing? Those are for my friends! They are not your friends. They are lumps of clay. <laughs> You need to make real friends. Go into the towns, find children your age. You cannot live out here alone. But all the town folk told me to stay away. They say I'm a cursed girl. Then go somewhere else, find other people. There are still good people left. You just don't get it. You're not me. You don't understand. Go away! I'll see you all at the selection ceremony, ladies. I especially hope you show up. Let me guess. He's rich. That's Etios, the scion of the most influential family in chaos. And his wife choosing ceremony is tomorrow. <sighs> we need Eros' blessings to be picked. You hope to marry into riches? No! My feelings are for Etios, not his wealth. Even if your feelings for him are real, they get stronger with Rahmi. No! I really am in love with him. You better start praying like the rest of them. <laughs> no, I have to stand out. If I do what everyone else is doing, I'll never be picked by Eros or Etios. I need to do something. Anything. Anything. Yes! 
anything. <laughs> Eros? Please. His ears are stuffed full with the prattling of these women. Let me help. I'm a witch of Ekati, goddess of witchcraft and magic. I know just the thing. A love potion. I've seen stranger things work. I'll buy it from you, please. Sell it to me. And don't let the others hear you. I don't need your drachmi. I spread the word of Ekati freely. But a love potion is tailored to the imbiber. I have to make one just for you. And once you've drained every last drop of it down your pretty throat, you will exude pure, irresistible beauty. Aetios will fall in love with you instantly. First, we'll need two things. A cask of the finest wine and some wild mushrooms. Uh, but where can I find that at such short notice? I'm sure the Mystios could procure these items for you. Please, Mystios. Please, you've got to help me. In the name of love and a lot of Drachme. Well, I'll give you all I've got. If Etios picks me, I'll be sure to give you even more. Ugh. Fine. I'll get the ingredients for your love potion. That's all? I'll see to the items. Excellent. Meet us at the temple on the hilltop when you're done. They should do fine. Though, they don't look safe to eat. Wine and wild mushrooms. That's all of it. I should go to the girl and the witch at the temple. Here's everything you asked for. <gasps> Thank you, Mystios. Now, I just need a more personal artifact. The last ingredient. I've come this far. I'll see it through. What else do you need, witch? No, no. <laughs> what I need, the girl can provide. I'll give you whatever you need to be with Etios. We'll just need a little snip of your beautiful locks. Your part in this is done, Mystios. Come to the selection ceremony at Aetios' house to witness the fruits of your labor. It's the one overlooking the sea. You've got to come! Once Aetios picks me, I'll make sure to pay you your due. I hope he has deep pockets. His love didn't come cheap. Come. There's much left to do. See you at the ceremony, Mystios. Sorry, my love. Give me a moment. Some peasants need my attention. You said a little bit of her hair. Explain this. <laughs> Explain? It's clear, beautiful, gullible, idiot girl falls prey to her competition. She set me up! Etios picked her instead! <laughs> He didn't even take a second look at me. Oh, 
What happened to the potion? Why, she drank it. And look, it worked wonderfully. <laughs> she added a lock of my hair to the potion and then made me drink it. I didn't feel anything strange at the time, but when I did, all my hair, it just began to fall off. What trickery is this? You used her hair in a spell? A spell? Are you idiots? If only something so convenient existed. It's simple alchemy. With a little knowledge of poisonous local flora, anything is possible. And wild mushrooms are known to cause violent reactions. But honestly, I've never seen anyone go bald. Just a horrible rush at best. This went better than I expected. <laughs> Why would you do such a thing? Aetios can be no one's but mine. I'm the one who truly loves him. I grew up with him. I've always been the one looking out for him. You think I'd let some starry-eyed fledgling after his wealth steal the love of my life from me? Aetios doesn't know what's good for him. He's been eyeing this one for a while now. He liked the way she looked. So I changed that. <laughs> I was promised Rahmi. Just give it to me. I didn't sign up for any of this drama. Technically, the girl asked you for the items, not me. She's making fools of us both! Kill her, Mistios! <laughs> the witch is crazy, but she did what you tried to do. Anything and everything to be with the one she loves. I can't fault her. How could you say that after what she did to me? No, when you are beat. Go home. Well, pay me, then go home. See? The Mistios gets it. Come, Aetios, my dear. Let us leave these peasants to their theatrics. We have a wedding to plan. You there. You have a kind soul. Help an old man buy his next meal. You need it more than me. Here, take it. A generous gift. Thank you. What do they call you, stranger? I'm Cassandra. And you? Just a simple beggar. I sailed from Persia to see the beauty of the Greek world. I can do many things, Persian, but I can't restore sight. Nor would I want you to. My blindness is a burden that the gods have given me to carry, and I will. Then what? Be my eyes. When I was a boy, an Athenian told me the most beautiful tales of your lands. I would love to hear them again. Would you go see the places I never was able to, and return to tell me the tale of your adventures? I'm not much of a storyteller, but I will be your eyes. I knew I sensed kindness in you. You've made this old Persian happy again. Don't thank me yet. What places do you wish you could have seen? Ah. My favorite tales were always of the Acrocorinth. The statues of Zeus in Athena, the perch of the armored bird in Arcadia, and of course, the mysterious mound Taigetos. I'll be back with stories to tell. As soon as you've seen one location, please return. Papyrus says it was written by Themistocles. The Athenian general. This papyrus is so old. Could this be writing by Themistocles? People come here to worship Aphrodite, but the view is the real beauty.
A note? Written by Themistocles? Who knew the great general was also a poet? This is it. <laughs> Let's hope it at least killed all of the Stymphalian birds. could hear your footsteps. Welcome back. So, tell me what you know about the statue of Zeus. Its great bowl stood ready to punish the Kefalonians below. Or so I was told. I've seen Kefalonia from the statue of Zeus. Tell me, is it still a place of great beauty? Yes, the island is beautiful. From the statue of Zeus, you can see the sea hitting the white beaches and the mountains covered in green. But its people suffer because of the war. Ah, just how it was described to me. The gods simultaneously bless the land and curse the people. Even for gods, your gods are cruel, Miss Theos. Okay, I've told you what I remember. Now tell me about yourself. What's a Persian doing here? Persia and the Greek world are doomed to be opposites. In times of prosperity here, Persians always seem to suffer. And when you're at war with yourselves... Persians? No peace? Indeed. My people prospered after King Xerxes was murdered. All except for me. A man tried to kill me with poison, which is how I lost my sight. I fled and arrived here. I find it hard to believe anyone would want you dead. You're very kind. Tell me another tale, then I'll tell you more of my past. There are many statues to Athena. Which one do you mean? In my mind, there is only one. Her story always began. As we rounded the hilltops, we could see Athens bustling below us, and Athena above, matching our gaze. You'll be glad to know, I've been to the statue of Athena at the Acropolis. Ah, if only I could have been there to feel her presence. Would you describe her to me? Oh, it's even better than you can imagine. Made of pure gold. Chip one toe off her, and you'd have enough drachmi to eat for the rest of your life. Gold? No. It can be. I was always told she was bronze and stood guard over the city of Athens, mourning the past and protecting the future. Your turn to tell me something. You said a man tried to kill you. The man who rose up to kill the tyrant Xerxes was named Darius. He was of a new creed of killers. Unlike any Persia had known, he was also the man hired to kill me. A killer of kings? Hired to kill a simple blind man? Why? I have your interest, do I? Tell another tale, and I will too. The Acrocorinth? Don't tell me. It's in Corinthia. Smart guess. It is the most renowned temple to Aphrodite, your goddess of all life's most pleasurable trivialities. I've traveled to the Acrocorinth. From there, I could see all of Corinthia. 
Ah, I can only wonder at what the worshippers of Aphrodite do to pay her tribute. The Athera keep the spirit of Aphrodite alive, usually well into the night. Exactly as your goddess deserves. When I was younger, I'd lie awake dreaming of what it would be like to go worship, of course. Now that's out of the way. You owe me a tale. You said the king killer Darius was hired to kill you too. He was. By my brother. Your brother? None of this is making any sense, old man. I trust you. So I will tell you. My brother and I are the last living sons of King Xerxes. Impossible. That would make you a king. I was. My name was Artaxerxes. I guided Persia through a time of peace. But my brother wanted the throne and plotted my death. Now, I hide here. Exiled. Living the life of a simple beggar. I will tell you more. But first... Yes, yes. A tale for a tale. You did say Mount Tayetos, didn't you? You sound like you know that place. I have heard tales of its appetites. They say the mountain feeds on the suffering of Spartans, so the people there offer their own children to the mountain god for sacrifice. That's... that's not exactly right. I returned to Mount Tayedos. Returned? Tell me, did you meet the mountain god who devours Spartan children? The mountain is just a mountain, like any other. What makes Tayetos a place of suffering is the people there. That is true of all the world's worst places. When I was a child... I could tell from the moment I met you that you carried the burden of suffering. Let it stay in the past. Now you tell me, King Artaxerxes. How can I believe your story? You don't exactly look like royalty. <laughs> well... That's the point. I am hiding. Show me proof. I could. You see, I knew a man named Themistocles. The Athenian general? I heard stories about him being ostracized from Athens. All the petty politics. He came to Persia to me, looking for refuge. I was king, but only a boy. He spent his days learning Persian and telling me stories of his home. Places like the Acrocorinth, Mount Taigetos. The places you wished you could see. I loved the tales and loved Themistocles like a father. He was kinder to me than Xerxes ever was. Tell me one last tale and I'll tell you why he hid his treasure. What do you remember about this armored bird in Arcadia? There's a beast made of armor jutting out from the mountainside, overlooking Lake Stymphalos and the undulating fields, stretching like waves on a golden sea all across Arcadia. If you'd like to hear about the bird, I could describe it to you. Nothing would make me happier. It's a majestic statue, built from the blades of fallen soldiers. It's so high above Stymphalos and the golden fields below. Up there, I could forget there was a war. So it is as it was told to me. The bird commemorates Heraclius' fight against chaos, built on a place of calm. Hopefully, one draws out the best in the other. So, I've been to the five places that Mr. Clis told you about in his tales. For that, my soul will be eternally grateful. As for my tale, Themistocles died peacefully in Persia, as one of us. I promise him I'd see the places he told me about. His stories will live on in me. And now you. And what of your story? I let the people believe Darius succeeded in killing me, so I could escape. Artaxerxes, there's something else you should know. Yes? My grandfather was Leonidas of Sparta. That means... Your father, King Xerxes, killed my grandfather. 
Then you are bound by blood to avenge him. Arshak Xerxes, false king. This Mistyos led me right to you. Time to finish what I started. Cassandra, please. Stand behind me. Artaxerxes, are you hurt? Despite being bound by honor to avenge Leonidas, you saved me. Thank you. I had no choice. That man wanted you dead. Must have been another one of your executioners. It was. If he doesn't return to Persia, my brother will send another. Then another. It's time this old man accepts his fate. You're a brave man, Artaxerxes. A trade I learned from Themistocles. Now, as for you, I owe you payment. Well, I did save your life. And I went on an adventure for you, your highness. You did? Though much of what you said is not how I remember Themistocles telling it. Things change. Ah, we approve of that, aren't we? Now, for Themistocles' treasure, find the tomb in Salamis where he made his triumphant stand against my father's navy. That's where your reward awaits. tomb that Artaxerxes mentioned. It's real. You there, Mistyos. I have something you may be interested in. Here, friend. I saw you talking to my associate, Pericles. From what I saw, you weren't doing much associating. That's just politics. Pericles is a good man, a fine man, just not the right man. That's not what I heard. From whose lips? His? I've heard you both speak. You treat people's lives like it's some sort of game. Politics is a game, and one with high stakes. I play for the people, while Pericles plays for power. Politics should be about the people. Isn't that the heart of Athenian democracy? I'm not saying Pericles doesn't care for the people. Just that he doesn't lead them with a firm enough hand. Did you actually need something, or did you just want to educate me on the finer points of democracy? Pericles is holding parties for the rich and powerful while we're under siege. What I want is for my people to reclaim control. You could help me. And how do you want me to help? Help Athens, not me. The Spartans howl outside our city walls. Create chaos. Think about it. Will you take my commission and show the Spartans we are not defeated yet? I have no problem killing Spartans. Good. Kill their commander, Nabis. Destroy their supplies and return to me with proof of your exploits. Show them that we have teeth, too. I'll get it done. Trust me, this is a huge opportunity for you. Get away! 
This is no place for you. You've returned. Did you bring the proof I asked for? I think this might interest you. I took it from the commander after I killed him. You know what it's about? What do you mean? Your reaction betrayed you. Yes. The man mentioned in this node was on important business for Athens. I hope this proves I can be trusted to get the job done. Proved you're competent, yes. Trusted. You did read the note. I had to make sure it was proof of what I did. It could have been anything. A good point. And because of this, I have another task for you. I need you to find my messenger, Yerimos. This was the messenger from the note? Yes, it's imperative Yerimos is freed and reaches the sheep I've read it for him. Where should I look for Yerimos? If the Spartans have him, he'll be in the old quarry. I have it on good authority they're holding all their prisoners there. Don't worry. I'll get this Yerimos of yours to the ship. Mount Pendelikos holds the purest marble in the Greek world. I heard they built the Parthenon with it. Thank you. I need to get to my ship. I'll reward you well. Spartan patrols could find us at any moment. Agreed. We need to get to my ship. I'll get you to your ship. Just point me in the right direction. It's on the coast. Just south of Marathon Beach. What's so important about this ship? It's not the ship, but it's cargo. It must reach its destination. Then what's the cargo? I'm not ungrateful for your help, but it's better you don't know. Why is that? Just believe me. What we do is for the security and future of Athens. This mission must succeed. My payment relies on it, so trust me, it will. <laughs> Seems your crew met the same fate as you. I don't blame Yerimos for talking. Spartans lack the most basic empathy. Stay here. I'll kill the Spartans, destroy their ships, and free your crew. No, not today. Turn back. 
Walk away. Everyone, charge! Done Athens a great service. On my return, I will make sure to acknowledge it. Well, you did mention payment. More than that, you will have earned the favor of some powerful people when they hear of what you've done. I hear it's useful to have powerful friends. The way the world is now, you need them more than ever. What do you mean? I've said enough, and my sheep awaits. Thank you again, Mistyos. I hope we'll meet again. You took far longer than I expected. There were... Uh, complications. In what way? Your messenger was dead by the time I arrived, but I was still able to free the captain, and the ship sailed. So, I still did the job. Ah, oh, poor Yerimos. But I should be thankful for your initiative. This was more than I bargained for. You'll be amply compensated. You have done me and the people a huge service. One day, you will see your part in this great work. Oh, my... 
You sound troubled. I'm trying to steal Xenia a great treasure to celebrate her victory over Chaos, but the directions have been stolen. And I suppose you want someone to steal them back. I tried, but they were stolen by the leader of Coresia who Xenia banished from the city. There's a new truce between them, but no pirate would touch that. Lucky for you, I'm no pirate. Are you saying you'll help me? There's something in it for you if you do. I suppose I could get your directions. Poseidon blesses me with good fortune at last! So where am I going? To the other side of the island. You'll find the tablet in the leader's house there. Once you have it, head to the nearby village of Poisa and deliver it to my associate. Don't worry, I'll get what you want. Xenia will be thrilled! I await your return! Ow! This must be what she wants. So... boring. What are you doing here? Oh, me? I was just... in the area. What happened to your associate? He had other business to attend to. Left in a hurry. So I came to meet you. I see. Did you get the tablet? Before I hand over anything, I want my drachmi. But of course. You're a woman after my own heart, you know. Thanks. Here's the tablet. Excellent! Now we can really get to the matter at hand. Let's see what we have here. Hmm. This is interesting. The treasure is hidden in some Minoan ruins. Ah, oh, but it's underwater. You can't swim? I'm a pirate. Of course I can fucking swim. I... just don't like sharks. So you're a coward, not a weakling. I don't need to swim if I have a reliable mercenary to do it for me. I might be interested in an adventure. I can promise you this will be one to remember. Else Poseidon's trident spear me and drag me to the crashing deep. All right. I suppose I can help you recover your treasure. I knew you wouldn't be able to resist. Poseidon blesses me with good fortune at last! So where am I going? Here. Take this key and head to the southern tip of Chaos. You'll find the entrance to the ruin there. It's sticky. Is that blood? Gods, no! Must have been the pomegranate I ate earlier. Hurry now. Time's a-wasting. I'll get you what you want. My friend! You are a gift from Poseidon himself. I try my best. I'm going to need that artifact from you now. First, my pay. I don't think so. Very funny. Now pay up. The last laugh is all mine. I'm in the business of double-crossing mercenaries. I didn't swim through sharks for this. That was your mistake, not mine. There was no treasure. Then why are you here? I came to tell you there's nothing down there. Someone else must have got there first. Then I'll kill you and check your remains, just to be sure. Ah! 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 
I mean, how hard is it to take a merchant ship and get to Thera and back? Still, Xenia could have used that Miltos. The Drachmi would have been helpful in her fight against. Something we can help you with? Yeah. You were talking about the shipment. We weren't saying nothing. Nothing that concerns you, anyway. I'm always open to a good tale. Especially if it ends in misfortune. <laughs> <laughs> The ones with Gotars as always do. He's their worst captain on Chaos. I'd like to find this ship. Well, I'll help you if you can. Then you can bring us a story. Thank you. If you find that Miltos, be sure to come back and share the wealth. Of course, my friends. Mar like it. I can find this shipment of Miltos? It's easy money. situation doesn't look good. Doesn't look good? What if... It was simple. An unarmed merchant ship. You gave that to Poseidon, and then ran us onto the rocks. We aren't far from chaos. Someone will find us. I hope the sharks find you first. Stop! Keep the fuck out of this! The captain's going to get what's coming to him. This man is your captain. You can only be captain if you got a ship. And he ain't got one no more. I can make it worth your while if you get me back to Chaos. Stand aside. Get out of my way. I'm taking Captain Gotarzis back to Chaos. You'll be sorry you stuck your nose in where it doesn't belong. He's fucked us over too many times. No, the captain won't leave here alive. Get behind me and stay close. By the God, help me! So 
Some fight, eh? Thank you, stranger. Now, if you can just get me back to Chaos, there's a reward in it for you. There better be. You've seen what happens to people I disagree with. Let's get to my ship and get you home, then. We've got company. Friends of yours? You go to one symposium and everyone wants to know you. That's not what I expected. Vatarzis! I thought I lost you this time. Where is your ship? <sighs> he sailed too close to the shore. The ship got caught on the rocks. We were in the middle of a raging battle. Malaka. What's important is that you're alive, brother. He's your brother? It would be easier if he wasn't. What happened to the crew? Those dogs turned on me. If it wasn't for this Mystios... He would be dead. Then you will be rewarded, Mystios. Gotarzis promised a reward. A substantial one, if I remember it right. Pay her, then. Me? But you're the one who... Fine. Come with me, stupid brother. Thank you, Cassandra. Family is family, and for his life, I thank you. 